Hi, it's Matt with Trout Soup. Hi, friends. In today's two-minute take, we're going to consider your fly rod choice, the weight of your fly rod, how to choose it based on two items that I think you should consider. One, what size flies are you going to be casting? And two, what size tippet are you going to be using? Why do we want to match the size flies and the size diameter tippet with our a certain weight fly rod, you might ask? This comes down to casting. Casting a large, say a size 10 dry fly on 6X tippet on a three weight fly rod, it's clunky, it's not smooth, you can't cast it as far, you're going to run into some problems. You cast that same t size 10 or 12 dry fly on 3 or 4X tippet on a five or six weight fly rod, it's going to be much smoother and it's going to mate better. Casting very small flies, sizes 18 through 24, say, on 6 or 7x tippet, on a 3-weight fly rod, 2-weight fly rod, even a 4-weight, is going to be much smoother. You're going to be able to protect the tippet better than a 5-weight or a 6-weight fly rod. You're going to have better feel. These are the items that you should consider when selecting the weight of your fly rod. Remember, we're here to maximize our fun on the water, right? And in order to accomplish this, you want to make sure that you have the right gear that's most comfortable for you. Welcome to 12,500 feet in the second edition of the Trout Soup 2-Minute Take. Now consider this. If you're going to be casting size 12 or 10 dry flies, you're probably going to want a slightly heavier tippet, larger diameter to match the hook size, and then you're also going to want probably a heavier weight rod. On the finer side of things, for lighter tippets, 5X, 6X, 7X, like what I use for most of the high lake fishing, and smaller flies, say size 16 and smaller, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, you're gonna want fine tippets, more delicate presentations are also something you should consider with those finer tippets. You're going to want a lighter weight fly rod, such as a two weight, three weight, or four weight even. Your tippet diameter should match the diameter of the hook on your fly relatively closely. Now, I don't know that there's a rule of thumb for this, but I know that, for example, if you have a three weight fly rod and you're casting a size 12 dry fly, and you put a 6X tippet on there, a lot of times you're going to get that twirly motion. You know what I'm talking about? You get it twirling and spinning around. That's usually when the tippet diameter is a lot thinner than the actual hook itself. So you want to make sure that you're using a large enough diameter for larger flies, large enough diameter tippet that is, or a very fine diameter, say for size 20 dry fly midges in our tailwaters for this winter. Take your 6X or 7X and put that through a size 20 fly. You'll see a big difference. Typically for you beginning and intermediate anglers, you're gonna hear, get yourself an eight foot six or a nine foot five weight fly rod, which is good for all trout waters in Colorado. Yes, it's true. However, if you're willing to consider the size of your fly and the size of tippet that you're going to be using, if you're going to be, if you know that you're going to be casting size 20 flies in our Colorado tailwaters this winter, or 22s or 24s, consider a three weight or a four weight fly rod to help protect that light tippet. Yes, you're going to need a, a stronger, larger fighting butt on a heavier weight fly rod for fighting large fish. That's true. However, you can land a 22 or a 24 inch rainbow or a brown in our Colorado tailwaters on a three weight fly rod. It's gonna take longer and you should consider that if you're not good at fighting those fish and bringing them in rather quickly, you're gonna fight that fish to more exhaustion that could endanger uh, and increase the mortality on that fish. So keep that in mind. If you don't believe me when you're fishing these real fine tippets, you can actually set the hook on those and play those fish pretty hard. In a couple of my videos, uh, the one of my Book of Secrets Part 2, I was fighting a rather large Rio Grande cutthroat 
on a three weight fly rod, 6X tippet. Took me about a minute and a half, two minutes to bring that fish in. And there is a way for you that I could suggest. This is a one of your Coleman cots with the spring loaded sort of trampoline style padding on it. You can take your hook, you might want to pinch the barb down, put it right into one of the holes where the springs go in and just practice in your yard setting the hook. You'll be surprised at how hard and how much tension you can pull on that. Set it quickly, set it hard, set it harder than you're comfortable with. Pull as hard as you can until the tippet breaks. Find out what that comfort zone is for you and that'll determine one, what size diameter tippet can I use? And two, how does it match up with the size fly that I'm going to be using for the weight rod that I have? Try it. I hope that in this two minute take, it's helped you consider and looking at the weight of your fly rod in a different light. I hope that by sharing this information with you, that you'll be able to select a fly rod weight based on the size flies that you're going to be using and the tippet diameter that should correspond with those size flies. I hope this helps you in your fishing fun. See you again soon.